Hi, this is Jimmy with Trailerhead LLC. This is a comparison between the Shark HD4 gantry and the Shark HD5 gantry when it comes to the flex of the gantry where the router actually mounts. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison for you as well. So your HD4 gantry is supported by tubular rails. Uh, these rails are only supported on each end, so that allows a little bit more flex in the gantry itself. Although this is not a bad design, physics had its own say and played into it. Now the HD5 design and the gantry is a lot better than the HD4 uh, when you do a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, they did do a lot of improvements with the linear rails across your X and your Z axis. It does take a lot of pressure to even get it to move just a little bit. Uh, so the cuts should stay true and your tolerances should stay a lot tighter. This is achieved by your linear rails which are fully supported across the back plane and also your Z axis across its own back plane. Now it's time for slow motion. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of the flex in the gantries between the HD4 and HD5. HD4 is on the left, HD5 on the right. Even though I didn't do a measured pressure, I am picking up on each one of them about the same amount. Um, and you can clearly see that the HD4 flexes a little bit more than the HD5. So we should get a lot better cuts out of the HD5 gantry design. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a good day. Happy cutting. <laughs>